Hi, this is Shirley from Shirley's World. The reason I should say that Shirley's World is not the name of my uh, eBay store. It's Rockford Trading Company. That's how I should introduce myself, probably. But I'm so used to doing Shirley's World because that's my blog. <clears throat> and it's also when I did periscoping. I, I did a lot of periscope videos. And it was Shirley's World on periscope. But it's, it's still Shirley from Shirley's World, but my uh, business is Rockford Trading Company. And that's uh, what I've always sold by on eBay. <clears throat> Rockford was my very first English pointer. Uh, I used to have labs, black labs, but uh, I got into the English pointer breed because my, my husband, a long time ago, bought me an English pointer for my birthday. It was really for him because he wanted a bird dog. <laughs> he gave it to me for my birthday and truly it was really my dog. And, but he hunted with it. It was a tremendous hunting dog and uh, it was from a breeder. But uh, since then, that dog uh, died a few years back. Uh, <clears throat> but since then, I've uh, started to foster and adopt dogs from the Pointer Rescue Organization. So that's who I work uh, through. And I've had a couple dogs from them. I always end up adopting my foster dogs. So it's really, I, I foster to adopt to make sure that they get along with, you know, my other dogs that I have here. Right now I only have Dexter. He's in the other room. Uh, and I just have one. I was uh, thinking of getting another one this spring. Uh, so anyway, that's the story of my name, Rockford Trading Company. So anyway, uh, we had a snowstorm here last night because today on Friday was supposed to be the day that I go to Goodwill and uh, it, they changed the price tags. But I woke up to about four inches of heavy, heavy snow that has knocked out power to a lot of people. Not me, thank goodness. But it just was clinging all over everything. And it was, uh, it was below freezing when I first got up this morning. And the snow was, it was, it was gorgeous, but it was so heavy. The trees were hanging down. I didn't lose any trees, though or any branches, I don't think. But it knocked down uh, a few spans of my poultry fencing for the chickens, so they couldn't go out today. They wouldn't have gone out anyway. They don't, they won't walk their little feet on the snow. <laughs> I don't know why. Some chickens will, but my chickens, I've never had chickens yet that will walk in the snow. So, <clears throat> I opened the coop door this morning and they just looked out and they decided they'd stay in. And then uh, they stayed in the coop for a little while and then when the snow started to melt in their run, in their small fenced in uh, wire fence run, they came out just in that little area. But they didn't, I couldn't let them out in the big area because the fencing was done. So I have to fix that and uh, however, yesterday, luckily, if I would have known this snow would be so bad, I knew it was going to snow, but I didn't think it would be so much. Uh, yesterday, I went to Goodwill because I had to spend another $10 to get my 35% off coupon, which I like to have when I do a big haul. So things that aren't 50% off will be 35% off. I did have a 20% off coupon, but... So I went to Goodwill yesterday, and I I just was going to get a couple things, something, some things that amounted to ten dollars. It didn't even have to be for the business; it could be just fun things for me, which that's what I started getting. But then I've got a few more things. But I spent uh, twenty nine dollars. But two of the things were for me. One was a one is a uh, indigo blue uh, teapot. I sort of collect teapots. I have a lot of them. And the other was a steamer. I've been looking at steamers to get for the uh, 
clothes so I don't have to iron if it's not bad. And so I saw the steamer in a bag, had no directions or anything, and uh, they don't they don't test things other than plugging them in, and if the red light goes on, they sell it. So, but you can take things back if they're electronic things, and they'll give you a store credit. So, I brought it home. I put a little water in it. I plugged it in. The red light went on, and then about 15 seconds later, the red light went off. It never heated up more than lukewarm, so. No steam, doesn't work, so I'm going to take it back. So store credit's just as good as money to me. So I'll show you the few things that I got. I just got, uh, I don't know, nine things, I think. Six things, I don't know, not very many. <clears throat> I started in the ties. So some of these I've never heard of, and they need a, some of them need a stitch. Their little uh, tie holder. Sometimes they come off. And this this is a Lewis Roth. I never heard of that, but I looked I looked these up and they did okay. All the ties I got are sort of neutral colors. So I got that one, and this one I thought was nice looking. Could go with most anything. That dark is a, like a navy blue and beige, and it's by Hathaway. And since 1837, so I figure that that's a pretty old company. So anyway, that's the second tie I got. I got four. They're all silk. And then I got this gray one. Very neutral, and it's by Hill and Archer. Hill and Archer. Never heard of that either, but that's okay. And this one I've had before, Bernini. It's an Italian tie made in Italy, and it says Beverly Hills underneath it, but it's made in Italy. And that's another one I have to stitch, this little tie holder back on just takes a stitch or two so those are the ties I got it's gonna be a very short little haul here uh, because a few of these things are not were uh, not half price but I bought them because they were 20% off so this is a big men's fleece yellow with a big black stripe and it's by Izod Izod, and it's a large. It has the name just little right there. Izod. See that? And it's a nice and heavy one. So I'll try it. See? This was only, I think these were normally like $4, so it was like $3 with my little. My 20% off coupon. And then I got, this was half price, these, and they, they're J. Jill. I saw these the other day, last week. J. Jill, which is a really good brand. And they're size 8, and they're stretch. The reason I didn't get them, they're capris. They're little capris. The reason I didn't get them before is because on the back pocket, there is a bleach mark. But when you figure people buy things that are so distressed and even have holes in them, I'll just try it and see. Maybe somebody uh, won't mind that at all. But they were just $2.50. Old J. Jill Caprice in the red. Somebody needs these red little Caprice. And these were also blue tag, which were half price. And they are by Lee, Lee Riveted, it says. And they're like, they're Capri's, wide, uh, 
sort of wide leg. And they're like carpenter, uh, carpenter pants. They have the pockets and the belt loop and they're the loop for the hammer and everything. But they are a size 10 medium. So I know they're girls, you know, a woman. So we'll see. I've been selling capris. Maybe a girl carpenter needs a pair of capris. <clears throat> then I thought I went in the shoe department. And I didn't. I don't know very much about shoes, so I'm afraid to buy many shoes. And another thing, I I've been only looking at flats, flat shoes. When I first started buying shoes, which I don't have very many, but I bought like really five inch heel shoes and, you know, just outlandish different shoes. But I found, I sold a couple pair of them, but they are so hard to ship, you know. So I had gotten a couple flats, you know, and they're so easy to ship. So. I sort of just stay away from the heels and things and look at the flats and the and the low shoes. But look at these. Aren't they the cutest little things? They're little boy or girl, I suppose. They're a size 12 and a half kids shoes. And they're Tommy Hilfiger's. And they have the Velcro uh, loop here, Velcro closing. And they look brand new. And they're leather. Look at they're they're hardly worn at all. So I'm gonna try these. I think they're too big for my grandson, but I don't know what age you'd have to be to wear a 12 and a half uh, kid's shoe. But I thought they were so cute. And they were just a couple dollars, you know. So that is what I got besides one more thing. And I found a men's suit I have right here. See, it's the, the pants and the suit. I don't know if you can tell, it's in a window pane pattern, which is good. And it's a uh, <clears throat> really dark, dark navy blue. And the brand, it's all wool. And the brand I had never heard of, and it's uh, Executive Collection by Tom James. Tom James. But I looked it up, and it was doing pretty good. Like it was, they were selling like for seventy dollars or so. So, and it was full price, which is ten dollars for suits. But I had twenty percent off, so it's only eight dollars. So I mean. Or can you get a suit for eight dollars? And the size is a 46 regular, <clears throat> which is pretty, uh, pretty good size. So that is what I got uh, to get my 35% off coupon, which I have now. Of course, I didn't go. I didn't go shopping this morning because of the snowstorm. The roads were still terrible this morning. Now everything's melting because by Sunday it's supposed to be 70 here. So, <clears throat> and my horse yesterday colicked, uh, just mild colic, which made me so stressed out, I can't tell you. So, I just found out, first of all, he has Cushing's. He's older. He's 24, 25. Preacher, my uh, my uh, gelding, my quarter horse. And uh, so he just started on a new medicine for Cushing's called Placend, plus Placend, something like that. So they're weaning him onto it. <clears throat> So I don't, we don't know if it's that or if it's this change in the barometer, this, this up and down weather. That's terrible for the horses. Uh, a lot of horses will call it because of that. 
So it could be a combination. It could be that. We're going to cut the dose in half. Give it to him. <coughs> excuse me. Give it to him every other day. And see how that goes. He's fine today. Now when a horse is colics, they get it's a big belly ache is what it is. Great big belly ache. But his was a mild case. He wasn't sweating. He wasn't rolling around on the ground or anything. <clears throat> but when the vet got there, I always have the vet come, no matter what, <laughs> uh, for the horses. So the vet got there. She Everything was normal. His temperature, his respirations, his uh, heart rate and everything. But he did have a sore belly. So... She tubed him, which is a nasogastric tube, into his stomach, and they, they uh, pump in a whole bunch of mineral oil. And this is just to loosen things up and make him go, you know. So <clears throat> today he's, he didn't like that at all, let me tell you. Some horses are, aren't bad about getting that, and other horses like Preacher, he fought it the whole way. He had to be sedated a little bit, and anyway... <clears throat> he got his dose, and uh, it was just a real low dose, so he came right out of it and immediately started eating his hay because she said he could have all the hay he wanted, all the water he wanted. And we cut the dose of the medicine in half, and he's, he could have a handful of grain uh, today, which he had, but he wasn't much interested in it yet. So I wish he'd start eating little grain not that he needs it for the next few days but because the hay is more important but uh, I don't want him losing weight you know if this would go on because this medicine for Cushing's that's one of the side effects uh, they it has like it acts like an appetite depressant so if that would be the case with this horse and he wouldn't eat, then he couldn't be on this medicine. So, <clears throat> Anyway, that was yesterday. Another thing about yesterday, I didn't sell one thing, not one, nada. That's so strange when you have a day, because I've been selling five and six things a day or more. Uh, I've sold... In the, last, in the five days previous to yesterday, I had sold 30 things. And it just seems strange that all of a sudden you have one day you don't sell anything. Now, I've sold five things today already. Four or five, maybe four so far. And, uh, but, I don't know. Maybe uh, Thursdays aren't a good shopping day for people. But usually the weekend's pretty good, and uh, so I should have some decent sales this weekend. So everybody, please keep my horse in your prayers, and his name is Preacher, and he'll be okay. So that is what I have. I have uh, decided instead of going today, I could have gone later when the road's cleared, but I decided I'd uh, just finish up everything that I had upstairs that I hadn't listed and get it all prepped. I still have things to take pictures of, and I still have uh, jeans over there that have to be photographed. So I photographed a whole lot of things, and I'm going to list things tonight and uh, measure and list. So that was my day today. I stayed home in the snow, but it's going to be all gone, I swear, by tomorrow. It's supposed to get uh, up to 50 tomorrow and then up to 70 on Sunday, so this is crazy weather. So I'll say bye for now. Please give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you again the next uh, YouTube. Bye. Hi, Sue. <laughs> bye. <laughs>